Tired Subs and Go. We're back with The Walking Dead Michonne Episode 3 finale. This is part 2. What is beyond the door? Can I come in? Alright, little man, I'm gonna teach you how to shoot a Glock. You probably know uh, how to shoot one in Call of Duty, but it's different. You shouldn't be hiding. I know you're scared, but you shouldn't hide. That only makes the bad stuff seem scarier. We don't deal with campers in I'm here. I'm not leaving. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. It's nice, but it's not going to protect you from what's out there. It won't? But Dad said... Dad said those things wouldn't get me in here. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just. Listen, kid. I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I wish it could go back too. I wish it all the time. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? If it's what happens, right? He did, didn't he? He did, but I made sure he wouldn't stay that way. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. And they're not a Wendigo anymore. Wendigo. Okay. Is that what's gonna happen to me? Not if you don't Am shut I up. I <laughs> can change into one too. <laughs> no. I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. Wendigo. <laughs> Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Uh, no, we're not. What'd you say? What'd you say, Norma? <laughs> Thanks for letting me see your fortress. That's how you get a window go to go. Gosh. That got me. That actually got me. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Talk to Sam downstairs. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or is she still out there digging a hole in the ground? I've never seen her like this. She's... She's not thinking. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. I never belonged here anyway. Same as you. 
That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation. But I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut me on. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. <sighs> I try. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain I love you more than anything. Sophie. Norma's here. Oh, Michonne. I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Uh oh. This is it. Mommy. There go Michelle with her superpowers again. and break now that that's taken care of everybody get ready because we're getting out of here what sam you okay greg and dad I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Hey, 
You okay? No. We're still here. Well, Norma's coming for us. <laughs> show. I'm just worried about the crew. If Norma hurt them. They'll be okay. We'll get them back. You know, I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. <laughs> At least we got a boot. Just a little bit. Sound like an idiot, don't I? Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want. Hey, it's gonna be tough leaving this place. I just hope I can convince Sam to go with me. Miss Stone? She's here! I'll tell y'all. We should have been out of here like a long time ago. I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. What, what's gonna happen? You gonna hurt us? Yeah, she's gonna hurt us. Right? Right? Just get upstairs. Um, we just... Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I should have taught that dude how to at least load the gun. I was thinking, like, the gun was, the, the, the mag was in the chamber or whatever, and that he was gonna accidentally set one off. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. This is worst case scenario, right? Are you sure? Not really. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige. Shut up. <laughs> Sam, you know I'll... Sam, shut up and go. Grab Randall and meet us outside. <sighs> All right, I don't know how this is going to go down, but this is going to be something. Mm. <laughs> mm. Quiet out there. You Too quiet. This? Anything goes wrong out there. I got your back. Right. This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. You ready to fight when I tell you? You got it. Oh man. It's just me. Yeah, right. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the nope. air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. I don't trust her. Where's Pete's crew? They're not far. Don't worry. Why should we believe you? I may be a lot of things, but I'm no liar. Your crew is safe, I promise you. Get away from the Listen, gate. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. You should have brought the crew. <laughs> and I'll leave you be. You buying any of this? You'll get Randall? After you hand over my friends. After everything you've done, you expect me to simply hand over your friends. Just like that. Careful, Michelle. A 
show of good faith, then. Any minute now. See? You lied. You said you were the only one there. Just like I said. Yeah, but you lied. Now, <laughs> I want to see my brother. Why the hell are we standing here? We're all homeless because of her. Jenny, stop. They should be dead. That is not what we are here for. Now be quiet. My brother. <laughs> now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. I think I've been more than reasonable. <laughs> Show me Randall. Oh! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have two more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? I'm giving you one last warning, Michonne. Enough warnings. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Oh, no. Stop! No! No! What? Virgil! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't. No! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. Please. We have to even things up somehow. I can make this right. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Hand him over. Just do it, Michonne. Please. I want Oak and Sadiq. They start walking and I'll send Randall out. Exactly. You didn't hear me. Oh! Oh! Kill him! Get to the house! Now. Get in the gate! I thought I shot him. Michonne, this has been the 25th, like, hallucination. Get the gun. Oh, no! Personal now. Get her open, my show. Get the rest of them. Burn the whole fucking house down. Oh, she went with grabs. She went with grabs. <laughs> She pull the Rick Rod. Zachary, no, uh, leave her alone. She needs. 
Oh! Do it! Where? <laughs> yeah. That's what you get, Piggy. Come on. Now, I have no idea if that's the best scenario, but it's an all right ending. We, we got somebody, we got one of the crew. For all we know, like, I mean, it, I'm guessing it, we're gonna we're gonna have the same outcome pretty much, minus like one more person, because if we let Randall go, then they probably were just bluffing. But then again, Rebecca could have shot Norma or somebody. So the only difference is Randall probably would have been dead anyway, and I should have thought about that. Because when she shot the flare, I should have known zombies were going to come anyway. <clears throat> it was a tricky situation. <laughs> this is probably the end of the episode, pretty much. It's probably, probably like no more than 10 minutes left. Usually you can tell when it's a bunch of loading like that. Nice uh, zero G gun toss. <laughs> we gotta hold the door with something. They just ran to the left and right. We have to get out of here. Where are the boys? Upstairs. Alex, Dave, hurry up. Oh, we're going to burn it down. See, why am I holding W when I'm clearly crawling left from the camera angle? See, that's what I'm talking about. Walking Dead Michonne got some weird gameplay movement. Hold W again. Careful not to stab them on the other side, or you will see them on the other side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, look, W again. And why Michelle? Michelle is doing the little <laughs> robot turtle head movement thing.
see, this one makes sense. Clearly, I'm walking up and forward through the stairs. Ah, uh, a random door. Wasn't this at the beginning of the season? Or... Or the trailer, I think? Or is this going to transition to the uh, apartment or whatever? I'm not sure. Wait, did that post for the outlines? So what do you guys want? <laughs> Not safe. I'm going to assume it's uh, the kids, so you say the right thing. Did you get out? Did you make it? I need to know. Guys, get out. Are, are you okay? I, I wasn't gonna find you. Sam, we have to go. Yeah, you're right. Come on. We can get out through Craig's room. Follow me. Stay right with me, okay? okay. Go. <laughs> Finally, you're not a silhouette anymore. James! Now you can see both realities. Okay, never mind. You're back in. <laughs> this isn't goodbye. I'll see you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama, stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go.
Dominic, please give us a minute. What's going on? Come on, Alex. What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Oh no. Don't go. I made a Collect. mistake. She can't stay. We can't stay here. It's too late. Her mother already made up her mind. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Oh, <laughs> I'm still in like shock it off. So what happened to the boat? I'm guessing it's gone. Because uh or the people took it over. Can't just be Norma and that crew. I mean there's gotta be other people left that they did a plan, I mean they captured a boat, they would have taken it over. Or is there a big massive plot hole? This feels like the end. It's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Yep, plot hole. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside, or maybe one of the other communities up north. Good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of here without you. We found my brothers. We took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You're welcome. Hey, we never got our bag back. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> It'll be harder out there without old Converto. I need to lean on you a bit more. Not gonna be the same without them. I got you covered, Pete. Don't worry. I know I can count. I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What happened up there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and I could just hear you screaming. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was smoke. I saw things that couldn't be real. It's happening more often now. The hallucinations, hearing things. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore.
Threat averted. <laughs> I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family. Before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You'll have lost your chance. I'll go back eventually. When I'm ready. Just don't take too long. So, this has been a crazy ride. Mainly, specifically, this last episode. But, um, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm a play through it, like, two more times, probably, and see exactly what could have happened. I guess there was no point in holding it back from the, the kid, so. Yeah, episode three, what we deserve. Uh, it was pretty interesting. Now, question is, will they use this to improve season three vastly? Or, you know, is, is season three going to be better than all of this? You know, better than even season one? Yeah, we don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see, but I thought it was pretty interesting. It was uh, an all right miniseries. If they could make another one, I'd want to see, uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd take a while to actually guess who out of the Walking Dead universe I'd want to have their own series, but yeah, it was fun, guys. So uh, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought, and I will see y'all later.